April showers bring May flowers and the month of Mary, two of my favorites, our Blessed Mother Mary. The month of May is devoted to our Blessed Mother, and I love this time of year when the flowers are blooming and it's just getting green and beautiful everywhere. And what I love about that is I feel like it connects us to our creator because he is the producer of all things beautiful and beauty always draws us closer to our creator. And that's also what our blessed mother does. She draws us closer to her son, Jesus, our Lord and savior. So I think both of them are awesome, right? Flowers and Mary. So we have a fun little episode today to give you some ideas of how you can honor Mary more in your life. And um, we're gonna do that through flowers and some Mary statues. So we're going to give you some ideas, um, easy ways that you can incorporate some of this into your own life, into your domestic church, your home, your yard, your garden, and all those things. And what's really awesome is we have stumbled upon a really cool resource, and it is from the Little Rose Shop. And she has come out with a Your Merry Garden Guide. And I have had a Merry Garden for a few years now. It is a work in progress. I'm actually not a green thumb. And if you don't believe me, you can ask my husband and kids. They always have to bail me out. Um, but I have a Merry Garden that I just love on the farm. Um, it has a Merry statue and different flowers that we add. And I would like to try another Merry Garden but you can also have a merry garden in your home. So I'm gonna show you a couple ideas, but um, Raquel at the Little Rose Shop has put together this awesome, awesome guide that we are gonna share with you and we're gonna link it in the show notes and it walks you through how you can have your very own merry garden. And she has thought of everything. What is a merry garden? How it works? What do you use? Where do you find a statue? What kind of um, plants or flowers can you use? Is it indoors? Is it outdoors? So this is gonna be your BFF this month. So print this off, we'll have the link. And I want you to join me in starting your very own merry garden, whether it's in your home or outside. I want you to join us on this journey of creating a merry garden that is special to you and connects you to Mary and to our creator and to our Lord Jesus. Because you know, like um, I mentioned earlier, beauty just draws us to the creator. So if you have a beautiful space in your home or in your garden, it's gonna draw you closer to our Lord and your faith. So I'm gonna show you a couple of fun different ways that you could um, incorporate Mary and a Mary garden into your garden or your home. So I brought some plants that I actually picked these up from Aldi. So you can find plants anywhere. So these are perennials. I love perennials because like I said, I'm not a green thumb and I love anything that doesn't require a ton of maintenance that I can plant it and well, kind of forget about it, but enjoy the beauty. <laughs> so these I just found at Aldi. They're super reasonable and perennial. So I'm gonna plant these in our um, Mary garden outside. So every year I add different Mary plants. And the other really cool thing is there are a lot of different flowers and plants that actually have a Mary symbolism, which um, Raquel talks about with, from the Little Rose Shop a little bit in here. And then she also has, um, you can find her online and we'll also put her links that can get you more information about symbolism with different flowers. But so we'll add these to our Mary garden outside by our Mary statue. These statues are that we have um, inside. We have a bigger statue, um, of Mary in our Mary garden. And the best place to buy them is absolutely support your Catholic local stores, um, your bookstores and gift stores. So like here in Sioux Falls, we have the mustard seed. And I know some of you other um, cities in our diocese have other, your own Catholic gift shop. So by all means go there first, check for Mary statue. But if you can't get to them, then we will hook a couple resources to um, like potentially like Amazon, other different places, but check your local places first. But um, anyway, so these I have inside. And so we will um, share some pictures of how you can spread the love of a Mary garden outside. But I'm gonna show you how you could just have one inside. So this is one that we happen to have inside, just a little Mary statue. And then this is something that I just got like at Hobby Lobby. Um, you can find them out and about. Um, that's the fun thing that a lot of stores are having more churchy looking things available. So this is something we have at home. And then what's really neat during the month of Mary is what's known as a May crowning. And you'll see that at church quite often in your parishes, you might see a crown placed on our Blessed Mother's head um, in the special areas that they have devoted um, to honor Mary in the worship space. Cases. Um, many like schools, like Catholic schools, will have May crownings. You may do that during your religious ed programs, even. So I'm going to show you how you can do that real quick in your home. 
So I happen to have found at Target this week on the Not Everything's Quite a Dollar Rack these little packages. So they have them right now. And I found this one that has flowers and this one has like little eucalyptus rings. So they're a pack of three. So what I did is I separated out the pack of them. And so this is the eucalyptus by itself. And this one, I took both of them and tied them together. So this is two pieces. Um, this is just to give you an idea. And then I took a little bread tie and then I wound the two together. And then what I'm gonna do for a May crowning then in our home is just set to this, let's see, this one I made for this Mary, on top of her head, <laughs> if I can get it to stay. I can't see now with the camera here, but so what I'll do is we'll just um, put that on top of our blessed mother's head during the month of May in our home. And if you make a crown and you can't quite get it to stick, you can always use like that blue like um, poster putty works really good to just kind of hook it onto her head. And then this is one that I got from the Target dollar rack as well. And what I did is I unhooked it, took it apart. And then this one, we're just gonna place on our blessed mother's head. It just is gonna kind of fit there with the crown. And then I will wrap it back together on there for a little crown there. <laughs> See how it's looking for you guys on camera. Um, so those are just kind of like some really easy kind of um, quick ways that you can honor our blessed mother in your home. And I have a few extra of these since they were packs of three. So I would be so happy to share with you. So if you would like a crown, you reach out to me at Living Lit at SF Catholic and I would love to share a crown with you. Or you can, um, you can go to any craft supply, Hobby Lobby or um, dollar stores or Target to find those. So be sure to print off your guide. And what she does that is so fun, Raquel, is she has a four week process. It doesn't have to take you four weeks, but she has four steps to help you create your own Mary Garden. It is so easy. She's thought of everything and um, it's just gonna really bring you beauty and peace and just some extra fun into your May. And the other thing I wanna mention to you is um, I was with Dr. Bergwald on his Ignition show and we talked about Mary. And so I would love for you to check out that episode, which we will also link in the show notes, talking a little bit about the difference between um, honoring or worshiping. And we honor our blessed mother. We don't worship her. We worship our Lord and God, but we honor our blessed mother because she was the mother of our creator who God specifically chose her to be the one to be Jesus's mother and our blessed mother. So I encourage you to make this month special in the month of May. Um, look at all the flowers, think of Mary, but most importantly, think of our creator and let that draw you closer to him.